For years, we have called the University of Utah, Imagine You. It's a place where you can dream big and then work hard to fulfill those dreams. That message and vision are unchanged. But for the time being, we need you to imagine some different approaches to the education process here at the U. Ones that will help reduce the risks of transmission of COVID-19. As one of America's leading research universities, we have been investing time and resources to better understand the coronavirus and the race to create treatments and vaccines. We've also worked closely with our world-class healthcare professionals to take measures on campus to reduce risks and keep the mission of the university moving forward. You'll find a detailed explanation of those on our website, coronavirus.utah.edu. Here are the top three things you need to remember. Wear a face covering. It's mandatory on campus. Physically distance yourself. Try and stay six feet apart. Wash your hands. You'll also find hand sanitation stations inside the main entrance to buildings and near the doors to classrooms and labs. Now, here are a few examples of how we've prepared campus to reduce risks. We've increased the number of air changes in buildings to create better ventilation. We reduced bottlenecks and traffic flows in entrances, exits, and hallways. We've also reduced in-class sizes and spread out desks and created protective zones for instructors. In addition, we've prepared a fall schedule that includes shifts to online courses to reduce the potential spread of the virus. You'll also notice new protocols to limit capacity in common spaces such as libraries, computer centers, and the Eccles Student Life Center. These are a few things we've done to welcome back our amazing students. But remember to do your part. Wear a face covering, practice physical distancing, and wash hands frequently. And if you have a fever or other symptoms associated with COVID-19, stay home or in your residence hall. Again, for more detailed information and what to do if you feel you've been exposed to COVID-19 or have symptoms, you can self-report at coronavirus.utah.edu. Working together and following the guidelines, we can reduce the risks and imagine a day when we are one you and all together again.